Hey guys and welcome to the fifth video of this uh, series Mac Mini Performance in uh, Motion Graphics and Video Editing. If you didn't watch the previous videos, uh, I'll put a link uh, below for all of the videos so you can uh, grab a hold of the whole scenario. And on this video we will be talking and seeing the Final Cut Pro 10 rendering times. And as I mentioned on the previous video when we talked about uh, Adobe Premiere, in here we have a really nice um, nice surprise on the Mac Mini. So let's put on the graphic. Here I only tested uh, on the Mac Mini and the Mac uh, Book Pro, the late 2013 top spec. Uh, so as we can see, the Mac Mini renders a file of 10 minutes H.264 with no effects at all in 2 minutes and 45 seconds, which is a great, great advantage to what we've seen on the Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere took um, 14 minutes to render this exact same file and Final Cut Pro takes only 2 minutes and 45 seconds to render um, the exact same file. No effects, nothing, 2 minutes and 45. So this is an excellent time uh, for this machine. Um, and uh, if you are into video editing, just uh, and if, if, of course, if you are willing to learn a, a bit of Final Cut Pro, which, uh, to be honest, is much simple, <laughs> very much simple. I'm used to Adobe Premiere, um, and I'm well, I used Adobe Premiere for a few years now. Uh, Final Cut Pro is new to me, uh, just a few months, and when they, only when I have free time. Uh, I'm not working on client projects in Final Cut Pro yet. I'm using uh, Adobe Premiere because I know where everything is. But what I love in Final Cut Pro is the simplicity. I know that Final Cut Pro uh, 7 was different and there are a lot of um, guys that worked uh, on Final Cut Pro that when the Final Cut Pro X uh, came out, they gave up and jumped to Adobe Premiere. Um, for me, it's a bit uh, a way around because I never worked with Final Cut Pro before, so I don't know how it was <laughs> on version 7. Uh, and I'm loving the simplicity of Final Cut Pro 10. Another thing is the price. 250 euros for the software was uh, not expensive at all. And um, my experience with it uh, have been um, great. So reminding that all these videos will be edited in, in Final Cut Pro. The quality that I see on the output uh, from Final Cut Pro or from Adobe Premiere, there's no difference in, in uh, at least visually, I can see no uh, no difference. But let's move on. So the Mac Mini took two, minute, two minutes and 45 and the MacBook Pro took two minutes and 18. Not a big difference here. And if you are just editing, as I said, uh, why would you spend 2,600 euros for the MacBook Pro when you could just spend 800 euros for the 850 for the Mac Mini? Of course, that's assuming I have to refer to the previous videos, assuming that you have the hardware available for for it. So now let's see the same test, but or the same file, but with effects. And uh, I put it. Um, with Ashes, color correction, curves and sharpen because the effects are not the same as in Adobe Premiere. Um, they work similarly, but they're not the same. So I couldn't compare uh, the exact same uh, effects. Uh, nonetheless, I did test them and here are the results. So the Mac Mini for uh, this file with this particular effect uh, an effects a bit exaggerated. You wouldn't use that for, uh, and as you can see on the screenshot shots that I put there, you wouldn't use uh, this type of uh, of intensity on the on any of these effects. Uh, took nine minutes and seventeen seconds, so a good time for the amount of effects that uh, the, this file has. Now the MacBook Pro took only two minutes and twenty seven. As you can see, there's just a little bit of increment. Dedicated graphics card really makes a difference. Uh, when comes to CUDA core enabled um, effects. So having this in mind um, and depending on uh, if you want to uh, and depending on your budget as well and depending on the time, depending on the effects, you might consider uh, really the Mac Mini as a video editing um, capable device. Uh, and then, of course, by the results, you can see what this machine is capable of, especially in Final Cut Pro. Uh, so the next video, it 
will be the about the After Effects rendering times and uh, about Final Cut Pro. Uh, this is it. We will talk a little bit more in the conclusion. But for now, uh, I'll say goodbye and <laughs> try to watch the next video about After Effects rendering times. So thanks for watching and bye bye.